Guys, we just saw another comb, they're really, really big. Wow. Nice. Just here in front of us, we have to keep changing the, the lens yeah. to show you the anaconda and to show ourselves. Incredible. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Huge was hit and our guide uh, spot hit her him <laughs> ah, we are going on the other side okay guys the anaconda is just there we are probably two two meters and a half from the anaconda away it's Huge. Beautiful. And beautiful. Still, like, still. It's getting all the sun she needs for the day. And you can, you can see there is like a part of the body that is so big because probably she eats something. A bird, probably. Bird. Beautiful. beautiful. Amazing, amazing. We're like, super excited, guys. It's yoga time. We work a lot with the eyes closed. You, you can feel everything. That's our side for work with the energies in the third three chapters. Octopus, uh, vegetables, um, salad, uh, healthy meal. I have a chocolate temptation. Okay guys, we are going to see some monkeys. They are so small, but we can spot them here. need to pay attention because it's full of insects and it's full of plants, dangerous plants that can burn your skin so we don't need to touch anything and really be careful We are sweating. We're walking now. I think since one hour, at least one hour, inside the jungle, looking for animals, looking for wildlife. It's humid. We put uh, tea tree oil on our skin, then protection for mosquitoes. We have our Garmin boots, we can walk everywhere. We have this pants of Kiwi. They are against the rain. You will sweat inside, but outside, if you eat something, they protect you 100%. Wow! Look at that! This is giant! Huge! This is huge! Wow, look at this guys. Seibo. 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 Seibo.
tipo es, es enorme. Wow, es giant. ¿Cuántos años tienes una planta así más o menos? Uy, hay que calcularle más o menos de los 200 cuando son mayores así, de los 200 para arriba. This tree can be at least 200 years old. Wow, impressive, I love this. To film this, guys, I'm using our small camera. It's uh, the GX800 because look at the GH5 with a big lens, 100-300. If we spot some wildlife, we can just make some picture and be more accurate with the position. I'm using this small one. Uh, so this camera has no external microphone. So probably my voice and the audio will be not 100%. But uh, I will give you the idea how it is to be in the Amazon forest. And it's spectacular, guys. It looks just like this. Just like this. Which one? Poison. Wow, this is poison. You see? Y muchos compañeros decían, no, 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 eso mata. No, 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 no mata esto, decía el doctor. Cisco was saying us that uh, the community in Quichua, they had a patron, a jefe, a chef, a boss, until uh, 1970. Then they organized, now they are free. But when they had a, a boss, the boss could be a Chinese guy or a Spanish guy, he tried always to take advantage of the woman in the village. So he said, ah, uh, I have something, some insect that's poison me or so there is no cure. I need to have sex with the woman. So this was an excuse to have sex with the woman of the villages. You cannot do anything against it. You just need to say yes, yes, yes. But now they are free from 1970. The community is free. They can organize themselves. They are completely they studied. They study, they could become guide, like Cisco. Cisco is our guide. So this is really good. Really good. And we can see here the Napo River. learning some Quichua language together with uh, Cisco. There is another community in Peru called uh, Quechua. Quichua and Quechua are two different communities. It's almost the same but they are not able to communicate because the language is different and even the Spanish and the Quichua are completely different. They have uh, their own language, their own tradition, their own culture. Como se dice como hola, como estas? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Sí. Imanatakanki. Imanatakanki. Y bien, bienvenido en Amazonia. Alicia, mucho que hay que ir a un canchi mamá y aptama Amazonia. Wow. Cisco was explaining us uh, how everything changed from 1972 when the, the first time one person from the United States discovered the first oil field here in Lago Agrio the town that we were before coca they started all the oil war oil oil rush came here texaco and everything changed for the community as well because before they live completely naked if they need something they go into the jungle and they can take everything from the jungle yeah the jungle was the supermarket, yeah, the, supermarket. Uh, the forest and then the 
when the money, when the oil start to be in the circle, when they start to need money to buy something, when they started to discover that there was another world outside the community, all the needs started to change. Everything changed. The roots of this tree are called mosquito roots because of the shape of the roots. You see? They are almost outside. And now it's the soil here. Cisco was saying that uh, there are two meters uh, of really good soil, uh, it's uh, all made of humus, uh, but uh, underneath uh, the soil is really hard uh, and dry and it's kind of um, a layer that water cannot go inside. So here it rains a lot but it only stays on the top uh, part uh, and it goes to the lagoon, it goes to rivers uh, and underneath uh, the soil is not really rich. Now it's time to get up there to see the wildlife from above. The tower. We made it to the top of the tower. Quantos metros sono? 40. 40 meters. This is the perfect spot. To see and to watch and to make some picture to birds. Look down. These are some nests. This bird. They are brown and yellow. Orupendula. This is the Orupendula. see that Luca made of the oro pendula, this is where that you can hear probably, you will see that uh, she is making like this. So it's a kind of a dance, but this is a sign. The alpha male is making this kind of movement and it's uh, calling the, the female saying, okay, you can come here, you can make the nest, everything is peaceful. Uh, I'm the boss, so the other male cannot come here. I'm the one in charge, you know, of this community. So just come here, everything will be all right. Huh? <laughs> Always to give you the real 360 view from my point of view, I will show you <laughs> the view from my chair. Guys, we will end our incredible, exciting day here on the tower. Today was really amazing. Uh, we saw so many animals. Uh, it's the feeling you get uh, to be here in the heart of the Amazon uh, in Ecuador. It's absolutely a unique uh, sensation. Uh, walk in here it's like being on a documentary being in a, in a yeah, film in a tv series it's and when you think about the amazon normally you think about brazil you you never think about ecuador and uh, here in ecuador uh, it's wow it's just a small part of the amazon basin but it's really worth it it's really worth it it's so incredible it's spectacular you have the possibility to see so many animals, so much wildlife and really close to us, birds, trees, uh, plants, trees. Uh, and even having a native guide that it's explaining us how they were living before the 1970s and 
now that everything is changing so fast, it's incredible how everything is evolving, sometimes for the good of the world, sometimes for uh, not for the, the best of our planet. We are here, we could experience this, we can share this with you and we are so happy to be able to do this. And we would like to thank the Selva Lodge that uh, has given that us, give yeah. us uh, this opportunity, this amazing opportunity. And it's not the end, uh, tomorrow yeah. we will have a full day of uh, exploring, of adventuring. Tomorrow we will go into Yazuni National Park and Yazuni Biosphere. There are just four biosphere in all Ecuador. Ecuador is pretty small. You have just four biosphere. One of these is the Yazuni Biosphere Natural Reserve. That's just on the opposite side of the river where Napo we are, river. the Napo River. It's like having just one road that connects a big part of the world. And it goes into the Amazon River that goes to Brazil. So it's huge. It's the second biggest river in the world after the Nile. Thank you for being with us. We will see you tomorrow with another amazing day. We will enjoy the sunset yeah. here, then uh, set up our torch uh, and go back to the lodge uh, during the night. Uh, let us know in the comments if you will ever make an experience like this in the Amazon forest. Uh, let us know what you think. Thank you, we love you. Ciao beautiful people, see you tomorrow. <laughs> something incredible happened. So I was looking down and I saw something moving.